here right now in the Queen Elizabeth Hall and look who I've caught up with. Guy doesn't need no introduction. I always get caught. That's it. He always gets caught by us, don't you, Mumsy? Yeah, man. All good. <laughs> how's, to, uh, how's today and what, what are you doing here today? Well, basically performing. This show's called um, Desi Live and they've got um, H Dami, Jazz Dami and Jagadee on uh, the bill at the same time. Uh, they've not had that before with a live band. I think it's Jazz Dami's live band. They were amazing. They smashed it. And Nihal was there today. He was presenting the show. So um, I think it's the first um, Desi thing they've done in the Queen, Queen Elizabeth Hall for the first time. And then I was asked to come down to give my little vibe with the whole urban, you know, Desi vibe and that. So they kind of merged all four of us together. I think the guys performed with a band. I'd done my own set, came back on in the end. H came on with me. It was mental. I mean, the crowd was yeah, brilliant. Yeah. We were watching that. It was absolutely crazy when Mumsy was performing. How did you get involved in Desi Live? Um, I think it was Nihal. Obviously, Nihal um, put this together with a couple of other friends, and um, it, was a, it was a new idea. It's never been done, you know, having um, new, fresh band artists coming on with a live band, especially for H. It was the first time that he'd done this, and uh, it was so smooth. Everything was brilliant. I think Nihal done a really good job bringing all these artists together. It was, it was. Um, it was brilliant, man. Good relationship on stage, and then I came on, done what I had to do. Really good. I, I can see it happening more. Yeah. What is the importance of uh, live music nowadays? Um, I, I feel that obviously a lot of artists nowadays, you know, they just come on, do what they need to do because that's just the way it is. Putting a band together isn't easy, you know. You can't get and get a drummer, a guitarist. It's quite a lot of work. But um, I do feel it's important to sing live and um, sometimes come and do something different than putting a CD on because everybody can go and you know go on iTunes and buy a track and you know when you go and see someone live you want them to sing live. I think a lot of artists can or either can't do that. So for me, the whole live factor is very important. You know, I love singing live. So if, if we can go on that and bring that to the table more. I think it's great. All by yourself, are you going to form a band to sing live? Um, definitely, definitely. Not yet, obviously. Um, at the moment, I'm focusing on dancing and um, coming on stage doing what I think do. But um, the live thing, it, I can see that definitely happening along the line, you know, getting my own band together. I play myself, so I play the keyboard and guitar. So As you heard, he produces his own tracks too now. Yeah, man. Produce um, Fly With Me, uh, which is my new single which is coming out, and uh, Sham D's new brand new single called I Know. If you don't know about it, you need to know about it. <laughs> if you don't know, well. I know. Yeah, he man. knows. We all know. So, yeah, Mubsy, big question. When is your album dropping? Um, you know what? The good news is the album's done. You know, the album is done. At the moment, there's a lot of big majors that are you know, talking about me, getting a whole deal, trying to you know, set a deal up. And um, it's definitely going to drop in summer this year. You know, I don't want to say when because yeah, yeah. you know I could tell you tomorrow I could tell you three weeks later and you might not so but I'm, I'm hoping this year you know I do need to come out with an album and um, I'm not gonna keep my fans waiting any longer so <laughs> it's gonna be a dangerous album so what's the plan after the album what's the future holding for Mumsy right now um, after the album I want to tour the world you know I want to tour as many you know countries cities and um, towns as I can just to build my fan base you know I believe in building fan base when you've got your fan base you've got everything you know, and I just want to do that. I want to go international. I don't want to just work in the UK. And you know, the rest is down to my career. Whatever comes my way, I'll do it. Films, anything. I'm, I'm down for it. So this is a bit of a cheeky sneak question I just put in. Uh, you performed at the UK Amers recently with yeah. Mokeed Singh on stage and Sophie. How was it? Um, yeah, it was alright. You know, I've never um, performed with um, you know Malky properly like that on a main stage. It was fun. It was, it was a lot of fun. You know, um, coming on. We did rehearse. We didn't rehearse me, Malky and Sophie oh. together. Sophie came on, you know, in the end just as a finale thing. But for me it's a new thing, you know. I just go and enjoy myself. I focus a lot more on my own yeah. set and when it comes to other people's set, I just have fun man. Just do what you do do. All I know is we were backstage and it was absolute chaos. When you came on there were girls screaming, there was just too madness. much noise, madness. That's the that's the way it's gotta be that's man, it. you know, we thrive off our fans. So definitely, we need you definitely. Mumsy, it was a pleasure having you here. Thank you. And uh, keep up the live act and everything. Thank you man. That's the box. Live.